Hey guys, what is up? Brian Fan Fan 17 here, and today I figured it was finally a good day to do a quick video tour of the ceiling fans in my brand new house. I know I've been saying it's going to be a surprise for a long time now, but I'm going to be moving in very soon, so I figured this would be a good time to kind of show what's been installed. Now, before I get started here, there is still one fan that has yet to be installed out here. The electrician has to come back at some point and install it. I'm not sure when he's gonna do that, but I'm gonna, I wanted to wait to do this until the, the fan out here was installed, but I don't know when that's gonna happen. So I figured I would do a quick tour now. Um, but it's gonna be a Fanimation, a white, Fanimation Zonix custom wet out there. That's what's going to be installed out there once they do all the electrical for that. And they will do it at some point, but I'm not sure when. So do keep in mind that there is one fan missing that still has yet to be installed out there on the front porch of the house. But um, other than that, all the other fans are installed. So we'll just do a quick tour. Um, I'm going to wait to do the full detailed tour of like the new house and kind of the story of like the layout and stuff until after that fan on the porch has been installed and like everything is done. There's still other little things that still have to be done in the house as well. But in the living room, as you can see right here, we have a Fanimation Spitfire. Um, as you guys know, these fans come in many different variations. This variation is... Um, I don't know how many, I'm not sure how many inches. Is this like 48 inch? I think this is the 48. I think this is 48 inches. This is the 48 inch one with the close ceiling kit um, that's in brushed satin brass. It has no light as you can see. Um, and you can see, and that's because there's like already pot lights around it. So we did not need a light. That would be kind of redundant to have a light see there's also some pendants here and stuff but I'll get more into like all the stuff of the house once it's actually like completely done but you can see here's the control for it right here and there's also a room I hear that there's a remote for it somewhere as well but I'm not sure where the electricians moved a lot of things around so that is the first fan there are a total of five fans going to be installed that includes the one that they have not yet installed out on the porch by the way but that would be two of them then to come over here, and this is my new room. It is actually technically the master bedroom, but it's actually pretty small. So I figured it actually, it's actually smaller than the upstairs two bedrooms. That's just the way they did the layout. It's, it's kind of a long story. I'll explain it more in the full tour, but because of its size, we decided this would be more appropriate. I love this bedroom because of its adjacent bathroom. Now it's kind of a mess in there, so I'm not gonna, they're still, still doing stuff in there. You can kind of see a little bit of it from the outside. I'm not gonna go in, but in here, we have a brush satin brass animation sculptor. This might be my favorite fan in the whole house and the Spitfire. I love this one and the Spitfire. Um, now, I, I think I might've mentioned to some people that I originally was gonna put something vintage in here, but. That hasn't really worked out for now, and I'll explain that in the full tour. But I also, I actually ended up picking out this one myself, and I really like it. I really like the design on it for being a newer fan, and it actually does put out a decent amount of air. I was a little skeptical. Okay, so I'll show the, um, in my closet here, here is the box for the, um, Zonix and the control for it. And they also still have to install the wall control for this one. They still gotta put a, replace the switch out for its wall control. Um, but again, I think there's a remote around for it somewhere. And as I start moving in, I have not, you know, like I said, it, I said it at the beginning of the tour that I have not actually officially moved in this house yet. I'm not, the movers are coming in a couple days and I'm not like officially completely moved out of my old house until the end of this week. So I'm still living at my old house right now, but it's not much longer at all now. So, and this is the spare bedroom right here. And you can see the upstairs is really nice. There's three skylights up here and the ceilings are all very high 
up here. You can see in here, we have a brushed satin Fanimation cute or coot. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's K-U-T-E. Um, and there is, it. see, it's running on low. I just put them all on the speeds that they were like, like set on ahead of time. I'm gonna um, wait till I, I haven't really played around with them a lot yet, and I'll do, I'll definitely do full demonstrations of all of them, of course. But um, this is, like I said, this is just a quick tour. This isn't really a full official tour until everything gets done and installed. But you can see here's the control for it right here. Very nice. You can see here's some nice lighting. Um, Here's the upstairs bathroom. Still doing some work in there as well. And then in the second bedroom, actually this is my mom's bedroom. This is, these are originally just two upstairs bedrooms. You can see these are actually bigger than the master, ironically. So this is the bedroom that my mom is taking. And there's another Fanimation coot, or cute, in here. And here's the control for that one. So the two in these bedrooms are identical. Too. I picked these out completely myself. Um, it's kind of a long story, but I knew this was the lighting that we were going to be getting. I'll get into that in the full tour, but this is the lighting that was going to be primarily in the house. And I figured these go really well together, like this lighting and these fans. They almost look like they could be made by the same company. So I really like that. And also these ones are cool too. And I we did get fan, it was it was very complicated figuring out how to like order fan sync and stuff. There was like a Bluetooth version and a Wi-Fi version, and it got really complicated. But I think we were able to get fan sync for the two fans upstairs. So those two um cutes, whatever, up there are um our thing, I think they're gonna have fan sync. I don't know if we're gonna have to set that up. I don't know what a complication that's gonna be. But um, yeah, okay, so there's nothing, there's no fans down here right now and there aren't gonna be for a while, but my mom has talked about putting fans down here eventually. And I definitely think that would be great because um, now believe it or not, the living room actually did not come with a ceiling fan when we got the model. The porch was a choice. Um, the bedrooms came with spots for ceiling fans, all three bedrooms, but the living room did not. So we might be one of the only houses of this model that has a fan in the living room. We had to pay like several hundred extra bucks for it. It was kind of nuts. So we didn't really want to do that again for down here. We figure we'll just do it ourselves sometimes later on or hire someone, but I definitely think there could be a fan in this space right here. This is a good space for one, and maybe even one or two along here as well. But that's not going to be something until probably later on because we there's a lot of expenses that went towards this house. But here, excited to show you guys this. Here's all my junk. Here's like all my fans and junk piled up here. It's got to get all organized. But here is my fan workshop right here. And that is where the rig is gonna go right there. And as you can see, there's some beams down here. So I'm hoping that maybe eventually I can install some other fans down here as well. I actually have a true basement, like unfinished basement area for my workshop now. But yeah, you can see here's the old south right there but that's the only thing that's like not oh and, oh and there's the fan that was in my room we had to move everything over here this past week it was kind of long and exhausting but we got it all moved over here and that's what this looks like so yeah that's pretty much all there is for right now like i said this is just a quick kind of 10 minute tour but i'm gonna wrap it up here oh here's my new piano by the way which just arrived today it's electric but it's really good but anyways, I basically picked out all those fanimations. I mean, it was my mom. She wanted new fans, but I picked them all out myself, except for the Spitfire. She kind of wanted, like, it, we were kind of narrowed it down to the last few options, and she liked the Spitfire. And I also have liked the Spitfire kind of a lot 
ever since they've come out as well. But, um, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this tour. Other than that, I basically picked all those out myself, and I'm really excited about those Fanimations, and I don't know if maybe there'll eventually be vintage fans installed around here as well, but I probably am going to keep, if, if there were vintage fans installed here, it'd probably be just in my room, and I kind of like that sculpt there, so I'm probably going to keep it up there for a while. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. That's it. I have to get going now. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching. I hope to make more videos of this cool house soon.